Hello, this is Telomere, and welcome to another repair video. In this video, we're working on an Xbox Series X, and uh, it's got a problem with uh, just basically shutting down after playing just about any game. So, theorizing that the issue with it is heat, uh, basically it's overheating, and probably needs to be cleaned out. We're going to take a look on inside. Now, there's many other videos that show exactly how to take apart these particular uh, consoles. So I'm not going to be bothering with showing how to take it apart. So I've gotten into the first bit there. Simple enough. And I can tell that the person that has been using this is a smoker. And I may actually... I don't know, actually. It looks pretty clean to me. If it keeps uh, turning off on them, it might be a bigger issue. We're going to continue our journey in and see what else is happening. But that isn't nearly as bad, all considering, as I was thinking. Okay, so, fan, definitely dirty. Hmm. I mean, I can give that a clean, but I don't see a clogged heat sink. Let's keep digging. I've taken out the drive, the disk drive, and yes, there is, uh, it definitely needs a clean. <laughs> I just still am confused about, about this being so clean. So I think next, I, I can't do this with, with one hand, but the whole central section, that, that entire bit there needs to come out next. So we'll be exploring that next. Oh, uh, I don't get it. This is really all that I've found for, for it. I mean, oh. 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 That might do it. That's bad. I've dug in. I've dug in a little bit farther here, and I just wanted to see how it looked on the inside. It's not too dusty. It was mostly on the outside. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about getting my... Because I, I, don't, I, I don't remember... I don't think my, my vacuum is uh, electronic safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my puffball things, which I do have uh, in my uh, Amazon uh, affiliate links in the video description if you're wanting one. That may not be the same model, but it'll be pretty close. Um, but yeah, I'll be blowing the dust off first, and then I'll be sucking it up. This is the final bit here. I've cleaned up as much as I can, as best I can. And all we've got left now is to get this little panel off of here, and then disconnect the fan, and then we'll be able to put some new thermal paste on here. This shield right here that goes over top is extremely difficult to get off. The way to get it off is you have to work on at least two of the sides first, and then uh, you can get it up. And it doesn't matter about the one side there. But it is, you'll notice these little, let me see if I can get that too. There we go. So you can see these little things right here. Oh, come on camera. And here. They're all along there. They, instead of a dot, it's more like an extended dot or line. So you have to pick out those first. And what I did was I went in behind them with the tweezers, poked in just in the hole, and then I, I bent it up slightly. And I did that along all those sides except the one on this side. And uh, then I uh, just pried it up with this and... Uh, and it popped off. Before doing that, I was struggling terribly to get it off. It's uh, it's very hard to get off otherwise. That's some super dry thermal paste. It needs to be replaced. It is extremely dry. So uh, we'll get that cleaned off. And uh, yeah. Mm. My recommendation is paper towel, lots of Q-tips, and isopropyl alcohol. Now, the reason for the isopropyl alcohol is uh, over water, isopropyl alcohol is really good at breaking down thermal paste because there is uh, an oil substance inside of thermal paste. And uh, this really helps break it down.
It is just that dry. Wow. I don't believe I'm going to be able to get all of that thermal paste out from all those nooks because it is so dry. I know that some people would likely try very hard to get that all cleaned out, but uh, I'm pretty darn sure that's going to be a waste of time. So we'll do what we can. Okay, that is for at least me about as clean as I'm getting it. Uh, I guess I could... I don't want to because I'm worried I'm going to crack off one of these little guys. So, it's clean. That's really all that matters for me. Now, what they had isn't anything particularly special. As far as I can tell, you don't really need, like, any special pattern on this. You're just going to put a line right across it. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that will spread right across the whole thing quite evenly. That's probably more than I needed, but... That should definitely do the trick. Let's toss it all back together. I gotta say for myself, the uh, Xbox Series X is a bit hard to work on, but there's other, other game consoles that I've worked on that were far, far harder than this. Everything was pretty straightforward. Everything used pretty much the same screwdriver, pretty much, eh, no, it used the same screwdriver throughout the entire thing, which was the T8. Throughout the entire thing, that's all I used, just that T8 right there. And, uh, and that plate, uh, that shield that was covering over the, uh, the X clamp, that was about the only thing in the entire thing that I worked on that was actually hard. And once I understood how to get into it, even that was pretty darn easy. There we go. I think I've got everything more or less in place now. Um, so all we got to do now after get this together is, well, test it. This right here, that needs to go in first. Once you got that in, then the rest goes in. There we go. Not that hard. And I didn't see a single void warranty sticker for the whole thing. All right, well, I'm in. It's on. We're testing. I'm going to go and use... I'm going to use the customer save. And let's see how this works out. Well, it hasn't crashed yet. I think it would have crashed by now. It, like what he was saying, didn't matter which, what you used, what game you chose. It would overheat after a very short period of time. And it's definitely not doing that. It's, it's looking good. So I think we're good to go. It is uh, It's definitely doing exactly what I need to do, what I wanted to, and what I expected to. So, if you guys like the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.